What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on our Town Hall 13 Fix That Rush. This account is very rushed and it has a ton of work to do so what we've been doing is trying to keep those builders busy because that's one of the biggest points of fixing any rush base is to keep all five of your builders going and that's exactly what we're going to do here today. We got two builders freed up and guys I actually took the time and fixed our progress base so it doesn't look like such a mess. Look at that we actually have a real progress base and what we're going to be doing is we're going to work on some electron farming. We talked about this in the last episode where you need to get one army upgraded and kind of use that for farming and or war. And we're going to use some electron for farming. It seems like it would make a lot of sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to be getting our clone spell up and we're going to be getting our lava hounds up. Now I'm sure you guys are like, how are you going to do all that bash? You don't, you don't have all those kind of resources and you, you don't really have the, the loot for it and any, any magic items. Yeah, but we do have league medals. That's right, CWL ended. Uh, so we do have some league medals in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to buy a hammer of fighting. And we're going to buy a hammer of spells to help us upgrade our electron. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the hammer of spells to upgrade the clone spell up to level 5, which is max level, which is a huge step. It goes from 27 capacity to 30, which allows us to get 6 balloons out of each clone. So we'll go ahead and do just that. And then with the Book of Fighting, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our Lava Hounds as it's a pretty heavy upgrade anyways, and we get a lot of value out of that. So we'll get maxed out Lava Hounds. And now we have a maxed out Lalo. We have Balloons up, we have Lava Hounds up, and now we have our clone spell up. So we can mess around, have some fun, and do some Electron Lalo. But our laboratory is still open, and I was trying to look and I was like, hmm, what should we put in the lab? And I'm kind of all over the place, but... One attack that has been consistently good since its inter introduction is Yetis. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upgrade our Yetis. We'll get them going for 14 days. I'm going to let them just sit in there and kind of do their thing. Now we do have some gold as well. And I was thinking, uh, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence what I want to upgrade with the gold. We have a lot of stuff to upgrade here. Like a lot of stuff. Last we were working on was uh, some of these Archer Towers, getting them up to level 12. So I guess we could do an Archer Tower. But I also kind of want to do these storages. I kind of want to get one of my, my heroes going up. Like if I can get my Royal Champion up, that would be awesome. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go one Archer Tower here, uh, which is a two-day upgrade. And I'm going to put just a little bit of gold into walls because we have tons and tons of walls to do. Uh, and since our walls are actually separated nicely we can see which ones we're not going to spend all of our gold on walls but we will spend a good chunk of it there and then we're just going to go out and hit some farming now that we have our electron up i'm going to use that electron i forgot to boost my army i'm going to use said electron to get some farming done we do have a hammer of heroes but i think i want to save that a little bit i don't know i guess i could use it like on the queen right here i should have did that before i boosted uh really uh, It'll get her level up, but it won't really save a ton as far as Dark Elixir. So I think I'm going to hold on to that Hammer of Heroes. And hopefully we can find some sick raids and we can get our Royal Champion up to level 7 here today. And if not, what I'll do is I'll upgrade my King to level 30 as that'll give him another level. Because if we don't get the Royal Champion, we're definitely not going to get the Queen. So we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of stuff to go on here. This is going to be the sample army we're going to use. Not sure how effective this is going to be, but we're going to try it. Uh, let's see the Electron. It's right here. We're going to have 36 balloons in there, a couple of Lava Hounds, some minions, and Baby Dragon, and a Wizard for cleanup slash funneling to get the heroes in. And then we're going to use two clones to clone up our balloons and our Electro Dragons. Four haste and a Poison Spell just in case anything comes out. And then we're going to run three dragons and then an electro dragon when you request you want to get the three balloons in there did i say three dragons you want to get the three balloons in there and then the electro dragon that way the balloons come out first let me show you guys kind of what this is looking like uh, i guess i can just fc here uh let's throw up an fc on the town hall seven uh that way you guys can kind of get a feel for it and we don't use up our army so the whole point is to have the balloons come out before so what we're going to do is we're going to throw down that blimp then we're going to throw down the two clones and the rage you can kind of all throw that down at once and you see the balloons clone up there first so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to try to get some huge value if we can get like eagles out air defenses out enemy queens out that's what we're going to look to do but first we need to find some huge loot and hopefully like some monstrous loot that's pretty nice but we also need to be aware of what's going on on these bases 
Uh, this one's actually not too bad. The enemy queen's down. We can get probably to the eagle. But then I have to be good with my Lalo. Eh, we could try it. We could try it, guys. My, my, I haven't Lalo'd a ton. So it'll be a good warm-up for us. So I'm going to use two balloons here to kind of distract, catch any seeking air mines. And then what we're going to do is we're going to Electrone right over here. You have to be sure that you don't uh, miss your Electrone. That's happened, and then you just end up wasting all those spell spots. All right, so we go in, and we're going to go right into two sweepers, which is not ideal. We do get out one of the sweepers there, and we do get out a shot on the eagle. Oh, but the eagle, oh, the eagle wakes up the town hall, or the chain wakes up the town hall from the eagle there. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go, oh, there is a scatter shot. I didn't see the scatter shots on this base. Oh, no. We're going to go right in here, king, queen, right in here. That's not good. That is not good. Not what we want here, chat. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, that scatter shot's going to be annoying. We really don't want to have to deal with that. All right. So we're going to pop our queen's ability here. I'm going to run my royal champion in here to try to take this scatter shot out. Because they're in an awkward spot right there. All right. So scatter shots are going down. But also I want to try to get out one of the air defenses here. Let's see if we can go like two balloons there. All right. Royal champion get some damage on that sweeper right or that air defense right there rather. Uh, we'll get those balloons going down. Uh, and then we'll go balloons right in like so. Balloons right in like so around here. Uh, let's go ahead and get that warden in there. Back up some more balloons here. And then we'll have a nice little path up the middle of the base. We do have to be aware of what's going on here. We have our warden eaten with our balloons. We'll go ahead and hit the, the warden special ability there to get the town hall down. We'll poison those skellies coming out of the clan castle. We got a decent run around the base, but we have also a lot of base still up. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in our minions over there. Oh, that one expo right there. That one expo causing some problems. Uh, let's see. We're actually pretty close on this one. That bow is going to be a problem if we can't get to it. Oh, we can't get to it right there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there's going to be no way for us to get that bow down. Sad times. We got that baby dragon working right there. Yeah. It was a decent run at the base. We didn't get much value out of the Electron, though. We didn't really need our wall breakers, but the wall breakers are good to have in there just in case you need to get the heroes going up the center of a base. You want to have that capability. So we do okay here, but we, we still need some practice. And that's the main reason I want to do this because... I really want to practice and get better with my Electron because it's not an attack I've used recently a lot and I used to use it a ton and be really really good with it so that's the main reason I'm using it on my other accounts like I'm using this attack on CB as well when I'm farming on CB just to get that practice set we do pretty well there 465 679 3500 Dark Elixir not the best but we got a 79% two star against a decent 13 so what we'll do is we'll go out we'll hit more of that and try to get one of our heroes upgrading today guys don't forget to subscribe turn on those notifications and also don't forget to use creative code bash i always like it when you guys do that so let me go ahead wait for the army to train up and then we'll go right back out and hit another base all right guys that first attack was decent well it could have been better but it was decent uh, i think what we're going to do here is we're going to try we're trying we're going to electron here we're going to try to get out the eagle and the inferno and all that kind of stuff but what we're going to do is first is we're going to send our heroes right in like here to try to get this air defense and that sweeper out because I don't want that sweeper pushing from behind. Both the sweepers are in a decent spot on this base, uh, pointing upward away from where we're going with the Electron. So that could be good, uh, but let's go ahead and get our heroes rolling in here. I'm going to save the Royal Champion until after we do the Electron, and then we'll kind of figure that out. Plus, we're going to get that air defense out right there from the King. Nice. Uh, so we should be able to go ahead... Let's go ahead and send those in just to make sure we don't catch any seeking air mines. Let's hit the queen's ability and then we will go ahead and electron here. I'm going to pop the blimp uh, just so we don't get too far, uh, which we might actually still activate the town hall. Yep, we still activated the town hall. That's okay though. We can live with that. Queen's still working. We got balloons working. Let's see. Royal champion. We can really work her in take out this multi on the back end 
Let's work out this multi on the back end here from the Royal Champion. I was thinking, you know, an air defense, but that's also... We didn't get the queen out. Uh-oh. I didn't think about getting the queen down. Oh, well. Live and learn. Too late now. We can't take it back. Uh, we get two dragons out of the clan castle also. Didn't think about the clan castle troops. Okay. We can live with that also. All right. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be rough. Two dragons in here, huh? All right. Plus the town hall is active. All right. Let's go ahead and get all this working... We're just going to spam a wall of loons in here. Where are these dragons going? Uh, let's go ahead and haste here, haste here. Let's go ahead and get this all through here. Warden, catch up. Why is the warden always so far behind everything? Always so far behind. All right, there we go. That's going down. I'm hoping we can just get through this base fast enough. Uh, let's go ahead and get that in there, that in there. We do still have one dragon up, but we should be able to get through here pretty quickly for some cleanup sometimes you just can out speed the clan castle it looks like we'll have pups taking down the dragons that'll work that was super sloppy i wasn't super worried about the queen because you know we could pop over her with the uh lalo but i didn't take into account the clan castle troops so we'll need to take that into account on the future attacks but that was a solid two star that was a really nice two i think that's going to give us or a three star rather and give us a star bonus which will give us a little bit more loot also let's go ahead and collect that all right so we need uh, we need like thirty thousand. Ooh, oh gem box let's go ahead and get some free gems and let's keep going we're going to keep practicing remember our fundamentals because i'm not remembering the fundamentals and uh Keep trying to grab some big loot. All right, guys, we're going to try this one. What we're going to do is we're going to try to get the queen out with our heroes. And then we're going to go ahead and electron over here towards the eagle. So uh, that sweeper is pointing down right there. We're just going to go right in here for the electron. Uh, let's go ahead and get that going right in there. We are going to activate the town hall again, but that's okay. We can live with it. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. One thing you have to learn with electron is to not lead your... Uh, clones too far meaning if you get the clones in the wrong spell you can just absolutely miss actually the queen goes down there from the e-drag noise that'll work uh, we have that sweeper right there or not that sweeper that uh air defense upgrading so really if we can like get in here and get another air defense out that would be awesome uh, hmm. i really want to go in this way behind the sweeper because we have a nice little path also i need to make a decision though uh, let's just go ahead and go like this. Let's go balloon here, balloon here, balloon here. And then we'll go with our royal champion right there. And then we'll save our heroes for the back end. Our king and queen, rather. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get this all in here. Get that working through there. All right, we'll get a haste right up the middle here. Royal champion will pop her ability just because I'm not watching her. I mean, it would have been fine. She would auto pop, but... We also need to make sure that town hall is activated. We didn't really do that, did we? All right, so let's get through here. We don't really need a poison too much here. All righty, let's go ahead and hit that. I'm gonna hit the warden's ability here. And this one should be nice and crushed. We can use our heroes for cleanup here. King there, queen there. Get all that working. We got plenty of haste left over. Not bad, not bad. That one had a lot of Dark Elixir. That's the main reason I hit it. Because if we are trying to get that uh, Royal Champion upgraded, we need to get as much Dark Elixir as possible. And even if not, we still need tons and tons of Dark Elixir because we have so many hero levels on this account. So that one was pretty nice and easy. But sometimes that's what you gotta take, especially as a rush base. You gotta take that easy raid and get that three star. So our first attack was decent. And we're starting to bounce back a little bit. 7,200 Dark Elixir. Let's find some more of that. That is huge. That's monstrous. We still need, what, like 24,000 Dark Elixir, though. I don't know if we're going to get there in today's episode. All right, guys. This one's a little bit interesting here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go king on the royal champion here. Ugh, I'm on the fence. I really don't know what I want to do with this attack. I want to try to get the eagle out. I want to try to get too much out, I think, here. And I've already wasted 30 seconds because I wasn't paying attention when the base came up. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and hit that. Let's hit the queen there. Want the queen to go down and get out that air defense, which she should be able to. Let's go ahead and put a baby dragon right in here. Hopefully she'll be able to. We'll see. She's under a lot of fire. All right, that's good. Oh, nope, she's not going to get there because she's going... Yeah, she might. Oh, nope, she's going there. 
All right, let's go like this here. We're gonna put like a wall of balloons. Just try to protect the blimp a little bit here. And we catch the sweeper. That's what I'm talking about. Catch of the sweeper. Oh yeah, that's that's awesome. Uh, so we'll pop open the sweeper right here. We get through there. Oh man, did I not rage? I did not rage either. Awesome stuff. Now, uh, the queen goes down. I'm poisoned because nothing came out of the clan castle. Oh, we're we're doing a, we're doing things, guys. We are doing things. That's for sure. Uh, let's go, royal champion, right in here. We got to get moving because I'm way behind on this attack. We'll just get a bunch of balloons going in here. We'll just flood out the base right here. Get that hasted in there. All right, warden, where you at, royal champion? Warden does not like to follow my troops where I want him to. Let's go ahead and hit the Warden's ability here just to keep stuff up. Alright, that's good. Get that in there. Alright, so we'll clean that one up. It was a sloppy attack. I really, like, I was on the fence. Like, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, but we end up making the decision, getting in there. We caught the sweeper, but was able to get right through it. The blimp has enough hit points that sometimes that can happen. You just gotta be aware, aware of where you're going in. Did you see what just happened with that town hall? A town hall was upgrading, but it like pretended to gigabomb. Did you guys see that? What the heck? Was that like a glitch? What the heck? Hold on, I'm gonna watch that again after we finish this one off. That was super weird. What? All right, hold on. We get 9,500 dark elixir. That's that's monstrous. That's huge. That's amazing. But I wonder if it'll show that in the replay again. All right, hold on a second. Let's uh, go four times. All right, so that all works out nicely. King Queen, get through there. Oh, I really wanted the queen to get that air defense down, but I, I should have hit the royal champion down a little bit earlier. All right, so the town hall was upgrading here. I don't know if it's going to show it in the replay. You might have to go back in the video and watch it. All right, so the balloons are going to get all through here. Town hall is not going to quite go down. All right, so right here, let's watch these balloons when this town hall gets ready to go down. It looked like that town hall was like going to drop. Look, look, look! What? What is that? That's gotta be like a glitch. Obviously the bomb didn't go off, but the animation was there. That is wild. That's a weird gigabomb glitch right there. Interesting stuff. All right, we're gonna keep moving, but that was super, super weird. All right, guys, we're gonna smack this base right here. We're gonna go in right with the Electrone right away. This level 70 queen, gotta be a pain, but we should be able to get her down with the Electron. That's one of the nice things is you can get these queens down. We're gonna go right for her. Uh, let's go ahead and get that all cloned up. Let's poison her right there. So the balloons will distract. The E-Drag should, oh no, the E-Drag's distracted on the king. Oh no, no, no. All right, get one shot, get one shot, get one shot. Oh no. Okay, so that hurts. All right, hmm. Well, that, that really was devastating. Uh, let's go ahead and go like this. Let's go king right here, queen right here. Man, that that really sucked. Maybe we can just get past her. That's going to be the plan anyways. Try to get just right on past her. Let's try to break the king in. I don't know why I'm bringing these wall breakers. I'm never using them. All right, we'll get the king working through there. Uh, let's go royal champion over here to try to get this other air defense out. Oh, man, that was... that. So devastating. Queen, are you gonna go get the stuff out? Get that air defense out, Queen. Come on. Do me a do me a favor once in your life. Alright. Royal Champion. Getting a shot on the Eagle. That's good. Uh, so we get a nice path here to work in this way. If I can get my balloons in. And then we can kind of work through here. Let's go ahead and throw a haste right in there. Get a few minions in. Get a few more balloons and let's hit the queen's ability there because i don't know what she's doing all right queen's doing her thing she's moving you got to get these balloons saved by the warden ability here all right that'll work uh, let's go ahead and hasten there keep moving balloons keep moving the queens on you all right that's good get down those last few defenses all right, that's good, and then we will clean up with our other balloons here. Balloon there, balloon there. Queen finally goes down, so sometimes you can just get right past the queen. Uh, if you get a good value out of your Electron, even though we didn't get the queen down with the Electron, we got pretty nice value through here. 
And this one's going to be another three star. Nice. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Let's see if we can find a monster of a raid for... We need like 10k Darkless. I really want to get that Royal Champion up today is what I'm getting at. So we're going to get her up one way or another. All right, guys. So I had a practice stage available and I found this base with all this loot. So if we can get in here, this will work nicely. Let's go ahead and see. I'm just pulling... See if there's any clan castle. I know, not the most efficient way to pull a clan castle, but it will work. But also, we're going to try to get all the Dark Elixir down here. Let's hit the King's ability. We need to get this enemy queen out. Because there's no clan castle, I guess we can poison the queen to slow her down to make sure our queen gets her out. Then we can actually throw a minion right in there. And then I'm going to Electrode. Actually, I didn't even realize the eagle is really well covered. Let's go in over here with the Electrode. Yeah, this is this is not beautiful. Let's go in right here. I forgot to put a balloon down just to catch any seeking air mines. We will get one of the sweepers out. Let's see if we can get to that eagle. That eagle is going to be really far away. The town hall is upgrade. That's a nice thing about town hall 13 right now. Everyone's still upgrading their town hall. All right, so that's decent. We got a path through the base, which is good. But we're going to have to fight a little bit through here. All right, so let's go like this here. Get this working in. And just back them up with a little bit more here. I'm going to get a haste in there. And get this balloon working right in there. I'm going to put my royal champion to fight that royal champion. All right, that's all looking nice. Royal champion pop her ability. Alright, uh, Eagle Shot's getting ready to come in. Let's hit the Warden ability right there. Get to that Sweeper. That Sweeper does not want to go down, man. Go down, Sweeper! Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get clean up in throughout the base. Didn't really need the Wall Breakers again. Again, it's just nice to have those Wall Breakers. I'm going to save this one balloon for clean up on the back end here. We should have enough to get through. We still got a Royal Champion going. Look at that Royal Champion go. And then we'll go ahead and throw this balloon right over here as everything goes down. Nice! That'll be exactly what we need to get our Royal Champion upgrading. This is why we want to get that Royal Champion going up. Look how much value she got right there. She got a ton of value. She helped support the Lalo right there. She can also take out the enemy Queen, the enemy Royal Champion. So she's going to be super valuable. That's why I'm putting a really high priority on getting her upgraded right now. Oh man, nice three star. We you got the hang of the Lalo a little bit better here. Still some work to do, but we're making some positive moves here with the Electron Lalo. Uh, also, we'll have tons of gold, which we can just save for the next episode. But that practice stage coming in clutch. I had like 3k Dark Elixir, so we'll have perfectly enough to get our Royal Champion up. I still can't believe that glitch. That was wild. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our Royal Champion right there. We'll finish off the boost. And since we're finished, I think I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade our queen for the time being, just to get that next level upgraded for her as well. So, oh wait, I don't have a builder. I always do that. Why do I always do that? Uh, is there, well, I guess I could cancel this because it's relatively cheap. We'll cancel that. We'll do this right now. Get the queen. If I can select the queen. Warden, get out of the way. Warden, get out of the way. All right, we'll select the queen and we'll get her up. That way we get the next level on her ability. And then we'll go ahead and throw down that archer tower right there. So a little bit of wasted gold, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe. What did you guys think about that town hall glitch like with the gigabomb going off graphic? That was really, really weird and interesting. Obviously it didn't actually go off, but it was there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like. And don't forget to keep on Clash Bashing. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any future uploads of mine. And if you did happen to miss yesterday's video, you can check it out right over there.